Welcome back. Right now it's time to talk about a fan favorite movie franchise that has returned. It's called Paranormal Next of Kin, all new film premiering on Paramount Plus. And here to tell us all about his role in this film is Christopher Chacon. He is a parapsychologist anomalist and helped within this film set. So looking forward to talking to him about paranormal activity this Halloween season. Christopher, thanks for joining us today. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So tell me exactly what you do as a parapsychologist anomalist. Well, for the most part, when I get cases or they refer to me, um, someone is dealing with some kind of phenomena that uh, defies the laws of nature and physics. Typically, they, they've already ruled out rational explanations, and they're looking for some type of uh, explanation on how to deal with it or what's, uh, what's causing it. Um, and I'm brought in to consult on, the, on those type of cases. How long have you been consulting in the paranormal? I've been doing it for about 40 years, um, and that's uh, dealing with different perspectives, including a, sort of bringing in a parapsychological perspective, um, one that is uh, anomalistics, which is a, a hardcore scientific method of assessing it. Um, and throughout that time, uh, you know, it, it really depends on who's reaching out regarding their experience, whether it's a archdiocese dealing with a possession case where there's phenomena that is really volatile or uh, it's a corporation that's encountering some kind of phenomena and they want me to come in to, to do an assessment to determine, again, well, what is causing this phenomenon, if there's anything they could do about it. Uh, I don't charge anything to assist them with these situations. Um, but, you know, a lot of it is trying to explore exactly how these phenomena are happening. Uh, I should point out that a good 70 to 80 percent of these phenomena that are reported around the world have ex explanations to them. They're psychological, physiological, circumstantial, even environmental. Um, but that, of course, leaves the 20 to 30 percent, which can't be explained. How did you choose this particular career path? Uh, I, I would have to say, honestly, that I, I didn't choose it. Uh, it kind of chose me, in a sense. Uh, it was not my uh, intention to want to explore these phenomena. Um, and on several occasions, I, I act, was actively kind of steering away from it. Uh, it's just, it kind of snowballed, and one thing led into another. And before I knew it, I was dealing with the, all these cases. And at one point, uh, I worked with a scientific think tank where that, that was where I got the anomalistic training uh, to investigate these phenomena scientifically. So um, again, it was one of those situations that kind of found me. And you also work as a consultant on films, which is where Paranormal Activity Next of Kin comes in. So tell me more about this film and your role in it. Yes, and uh, for the, all of the entire Paranormal Activity franchise, uh, the creators and the studio brought me in, uh, especially in regards to the uh, sort of spreading the news of the of what the movie is about because it's a, it's a very interesting type of creation where um, you really want the audience to be absorbed in the experience of the characters so it's not like they're uh, putting the actors and director uh, to be interviewed they what they want to do is talk to the people who are going to watch the movie um, because it's about experiences and almost everyone has had some type of unusual experience and typically what paranormal activity does is it it touches a nerve in people where they want to share their own ghost stories and my involvement had to do with uh, talking about real paranormal phenomena and how it compares to these films or other films and so within this particular paranormal film next of kin that is premiering soon how would you describe the paranormal phenomenon within this filming of this documentary Uh, well, I, you know, it's, it, first of all, it's different from the other paranormal activity movies. Um, it has a refreshing, different take. The other movies, for the most part, took place within the home. Um, and this particular paranormal activity, it's refreshing in a way where it steps outside the box, not only of the home, but the comfort zone of a lot of people when they see it, because it's, it's following along with our characters as they're trying to uh, sort of discover, piece together the history of our, one of our main characters. Um, 
And you know, it, as it takes you along on this journey, you definitely begin to see how much of a fish out of water experience they are in this area that they've never been to before and the experiences they're having. So that right there kind of begins to make the ground beneath them a little unstable. When things begin to happen, um, then of course it just, it just sort of amplifies uh, the suspense and the element of the unknown, which is kind of compounding the situation. So this documentary filmmaker follows this woman as she explores her roots in her Amish legacy home. Um, I'm curious, do you describe this as a documentary? Well, you know, uh, I think it's it's referred to as sort of a, it uses a cinema verite style, which is the documentarian approach of filming. Um, you know, it, and in that way, it really touches your audience because it, it creates the illusion as if everything you're seeing is a documentary, which is real. Um, and that, that's kind of what really makes the scares a little bit more intimate. Um, just like as if you were sitting down watching home movies at home, you're kind of watching, you're eavesdropping in on someone's experience and you forget about that after a while. And so when things begin to happen, um, it really uh, hits home with everyone who's watching it because they're thinking these experiences, my gosh, is this, is this a real phenomenon that's happening? Um, so that documentary and style, I, you know, I, I don't want to call it mock documentary because that usually refers to something a little bit more comical. So it's it definitely uses the documentary and style that 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 some of our taste style to shoot it. Um, and it, it just makes it more uh, uh, like like as if you're in the present when it's happening. It's absolutely terrifying. And I've just watched a few clips in the trailer. So I'm looking forward to seeing the whole entire thing. And Christopher, before we run out of time, what are some paranormal activities that you're investigating right now? There's right now, I'm you know, I just got completed with a possession exorcism phenomena um, that was out of the country. And in, in that particular situation, the Archdiocese was dealing with a possession phenomena that they, it was outside of their understanding. It was affecting the environment, electromagnetic fields, temperature changes by 70 to 80 degrees. There, there are a variety of elements that just couldn't ex be explained, including the person who was possessed was hooked up to the EEG equipment, and the EEG equipment was showing as if they were in deep REM sleep, not moving, but yet their body was convulsing and they were speaking a myriad of languages and some of them, which we couldn't really define. Um, so there was a lot of inconsistencies with the phenomenon that was happening itself. Um, but in, in regards to the case I'm dealing with right now, a family is really plagued in this particular home because ever since they moved in, the family of five, they each have these very realistic nightmares, um, almost worse than night terrors because they're synchronous. Everyone's experiencing it within the home. And it's as if something is coming out of the house attacking. Um, and, you know, for the for the first couple of weeks, the, the, the parents didn't want to tell the kids. And then they found out the kids weren't sleeping. And that's because they were having it. They brought in relatives and anyone who sleeps there, they have the experience. So it's, it's an interesting phenomenon that's only happening in this sleep state as if something manifests inside the home. And also another unusual thing is when you enter the home, you feel like you're under extreme pressure. Um, like you're going scuba diving, something's pushing down on you. And uh, we've already ruled out uh, the people took psychological examinations, physiological tests. We had environmental tests of the environment to prove that there was no, you know, toxic elements or anything there. Uh, so overall, it's just a very bizarre phenomenon that's really making their lives miserable. We are all sufficiently creeped out now, but thank you so much, Christopher Chacon, for joining us today, talking about the paranormal and everything that you did in consulting of this film and beyond. You can tune into Next of Kin Paranormal Activity. It's available to stream starting tomorrow, October 29th. So thanks to Christopher for his time today, and you can watch it on Paramount+. Plus. We'll be back with more right after this.